Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Oakamber and welcome back to Skyrim. This is a dead animal that I had nothing to do with. Oh, I might as well take it, right? Why not? Nature provides all that stuff. In the last episode, we explored a story dungeon. Not really a story dungeon, but part of a story, and we got the Ghost Blade. Which is a really good weapon. I don't remember it being that weak. Probably because of the level I'm at. Yeah, that's probably why. What's really cool is it ignores armor. Um, as it should. I mean, it's a spectral weapon. So, I mean, this is, this is a really good weapon for the most part in the game. It's not one of the most OP weapons in the game. Definitely not. But, um, it has its place because it ignores enemy armor completely. <laughs> And uh, that's basically true damage. It does true damage. I think, well, what, I should rephrase that. I think the three extra points of damage here is what determines, you know, the penetration value. It's, it's, it's actually dealing um, that three points without taking into account enemy armor. So that's very useful. That's an automatic, you know, armor ignoring weapon. And I, for the longest time, I had Ghost Blade dual wield with another uh, sword, a one-hander, one that I had made, and they worked out quite well. But honestly, you can make vastly superior weapons that still apply. By uh... this is an Imperial camp. I don't like Imperials very much. Um, you can still have something like that that even though there'll be mitigation because of armor, it won't matter much because they do so much fucking damage. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Stony Camp Creek. Yeah, this place. There's a place in Oblivion that looks just like this. The only difference is it's larger and there's a little island and there's underneath there's like a vampire den. Um, pretty cool place in Oblivion. But it reminds me of that because you have the dock and it's like sunken in and shit. That's so cool. Most of the memories in my life, I mean, being being an introvert and not really wanting to go out and see people and just being scared of people in general, um, most of the memories in my life have to do with video games, and sometimes you'll see a place that reminds you of something, or you'll go back to a place in a game and be like, oh, this, I remember this, I remember this. And I guess that's true with any real memory in real life, where, oh, that one time we were at the mall and so and so came over and then this dog farted and blew brown dust against the glass and everyone's like oh that was gross and yeah those kind of memories no but seriously like i i don't have many real world memories that hold themselves to themselves it's just mostly my life has been games and fantasy and comic books and pokemon and all that kind of stuff but I've been looking to make real memories, and yeah, not having a car, that makes it very hard. Hating yourself, you know, that makes it another thing. Hi, Wolves, how you doing? No, you killed the bunny! They infected the bunny! Shame! 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 I'm sorry, bunny. You were a good bunny. I will use your leg. Whoa, it got misty. Okay, so we got this interesting weather here. I think the bunny is now more powerful. What the fuck are you doing? The giant here is just, just doing whatever. What the hell? The mist makes you look really washed out, buddy. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing? Just imagine this guy looking at you. Breathing over your body as you sleep, doing weird giant shit while you're asleep and breaking stuff in your house, sticking his fingers in your mouth and wiggling it around. Okay, I'll stop now. That's, um... Oh, I see... Oh, this mammoth died. Well, that's sad. Okay, now I see why. He's upset because his mammoth fell in. Yeah, he didn't... He didn't want this to happen. Does this water hurt? No, it, j it just drowned. It... Oh, I mean, I could be a nice guy and, you know, send him on his way to meet the mammoth, but that's still a giant. <laughs> I think 
fighting a giant is probably a stupid idea at my level. Despite my weaponry. Um, that's a dragonfly. Hey, dragonfly. How you doing? Uh, yeah. That would probably be a poor choice. I mean, this nice little tower here. I don't want to do the tower. I like that place, but the problem is it's a long quest where you have to keep a follower alive. She becomes a permanent follower. <sighs> I don't know. Should I do it? I think I should do it, right? Yeah, maybe I should. I could turn her into a werewolf. I mean, that's the cool thing. There's a saber cat. Or... Yeah, it's a saber cat. Hey, come here, you. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Avert your eyes, kitty. Ah! Oh, I can't even see anything. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I really should have made it so after you hit them, they turn into ash, but it was already too excessive. This this is like literally stretching the borders of... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's stretching the um, boundaries of breaking the game when you cast it, so... Uh, no, I don't want to fly. I want to... Where's my frickin'... There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's basically, like, one spell effect away from breaking the entire game. So, I had to... I had to be careful. Come to think of it, since I was talking about that, why not bring these weapons back into the mix? Uh, the reason I was saying... Hi, how you doing? The reason I was saying that um, you have to be careful what you put in because some spells will actually break the game, the staff that I'm holding is one of the cases. I had to tone down the effect I originally wanted with the staff. Still cool, but doesn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. It knocks people down. It's like Gandalf's staff, basically. Um, this is a mod that I worked on. It's Maluka's Spellfire mod that I have yet to release. And the reason I have yet to release it is really just because I'm tired and there were a lot of other mods I was working on at the time. This is now fairly old. Um, but yeah, the staff is really cool. But that effect right there, for some reason, when I had it tweaked with like fire effects, because it was supposed to hit everyone and passively burn them over time, it just messes up badly. Oh, hello. This, however, has no problem. Oh, you're all, you're all dead. Yeah, let's take all your shit. Let's take all your shit. Why not, right? Who's firing at me? Oh. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, you're 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 gone. You're gone. You can't handle the power of the divine light. <laughs> Should this character be using these weapons? I don't think so. <laughs> but I wanted to show them off again. Have an excuse to pull out my hard work. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to get the effect that you see. Um, quite fun, you know, once I figured it out. Uh, a lot of work, and I still want to... Dance for daddy. Um, I want to release this mod at some point, but I just haven't had the time. Uh... And again, it's really doing a lot of other things, mostly YouTube, and then being lazy on top of it. So it's a cool, it's a cool mod in the in the works, basically. Uh, there's also a horse that goes with it. Oh, that's fucked up. Well, the sword is uh, kind of glitched. I don't know. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that at some point. <laughs> the sword is sheathed in my hand. That's weird. Um, whoops. Oh well. Doesn't look sheathed when I'm holding it, so that's fine. Hey, who's there? Me. It's your friend. Stendar's oh. mercy, you aren't one of them. It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. Do you? I'm sorry. I just you're right. I mean, what if you're one of Let them? Let me explain. Viola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. Okay. It's been months. And I've been you searching for do, her since. You do say. I heard a rumor that these bandits were ransoming captives. So hmm. I thought she may be here. I managed to sneak past the guards and get this far, but I don't think I can go on. I'm no warrior. Please, can you look for her? So you want me to go look for your wife? Honestly, I have no idea. But I've looked all over, and the kidnappings here started around when she disappeared. 
So I have to hope. Very well. Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy hmm. for you. Now, Please, the thing sir. is, I went into this thinking this was the one where you get to, um... I'm just gonna steal from this chest here, buddy. It's not yours, you won't care. Um, I, I went into this dungeon thinking it was the one where you get that mage follower. And I think I was wrong. I know she's somewhere in this region, but... I could have sworn this is the one, Mistwatch. Or is it down here somewhere? It's probably down Until there. Find out whether now I'm a little disappointed. Nothing I care to discuss. Looks like I'll have to go and do that quest. <laughs> no, this is this is the one where you have to go save the guy's wife. Ow! Save the guy. Well, that's a really dark room. Hello. Uh, save the guy's wife. Another effect I wanted to add to the staff was that uh, when you cast it, it not only did it set people on fire, but it would literally um, cause them to... It would cause them to light up. And yes, the, the items are glowing by themselves. Um, that's just how I made their alpha channels. Oh, oh. Ow. Fucking god dang it. <laughs> I wanted them to um, actually glow because they were like forged from divine light. Divine light. Ow, stop it. You hurt me. <laughs> You're on fire. Yes, you are. I'm trying to get my destruction skill up a little bit. Hey, archery shit. That's cool. Juniper berries. Juniper berries. I like juniper berries. Are juniper berries real? I don't know if they are. I haven't bothered looking that up. Maybe they are. They sound like they would be real, right? Let's, um... Craft whatever the hell that is. Well, that seems dangerous. Let's make that and that. Why not? Whatever, it gets us uh, levels. Actually, not the taproot. Yes. Okay. Some of these potions can really mess you over, but at the same time, it's a very useful thing to have. Why would I even want to go in there? Is there anything of value? Probably not. Let's go into the lower balcony, shall we? Oh, there's still more to go. Watch his... Um, I don't remember how this quest turns out. Watch his uh, wife be, like, the head leader of the bandits. That'd be hilarious. I can't go back to him. There are there are a few quests in Bethesda games that are like that. It's like, I, you know, I still care for so-and-so, but I just can't go back to that life kind of deal. It's funny because most of those missions are very similar to this, where you go around killing everyone, and then when you get to them, they don't even know, note that you've just murdered their friends. It's like, none of them are alive. Uh, how do I... How do I breathe without you? Something, something, something! I... Oh, this is a door? Okay. I didn't realize that was a door! <laughs> this is one of those quests where you really, 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 really need the key from the person to do the thing. I could take the pickaxe, but I'm just not going to. Hello, how you doing? There. Oh! <laughs> Spell is... I don't have the mana for that just yet. Yes, the more of you I tap with my bloody magics, I survive. I should just let them eat you, but... They'll still eat you when you're dead. See? They're just... Mm, they're eating your corpse. Stop it. Stop trying to hit me with arrows. Just watch Bandit. No, I wanted your... I want your goddamn gold. And... Griefa. Wow, you're a durable one, aren't you? And... There you go. The power of my dark sorcery. I will destroy you. I think what I'll do is I'll give those divine things to a follower. Um, 
so I can be the badass and they can be the okay. Hey, I found your wife! Oh, no, what the hell? Uh, can I, can I, I want to put her on her bed. There we go. When he comes up here, he'll be like, oh no, my sexy wife, why? No, no. And then I'm just like, oh no, zombies. Uh, that's not where I shot, but okay. Fine. I like how it tells you the corpse resists your magical effect. That's that's funny. It's funny. You know, out of all the bandit lairs I've ever seen, this one, it's really cool, and it could be really secure. I mean, they've... I thought I heard something there. They've got, like, a whole uh, exterior, interior kind of thing. You know, they, could, they can manage all these walls if they really need to. But... And they've got this elevation, too. That's really cool. I mean, there's only a few places, like, a master acrobats could get around to. Other than that, there should be a lot of bandits posted up here. They'd be fine. That terrain is really fucked up. Uh, but I can see far. I like it. Uh, yeah, but they've, they've completely borked themselves. There's not enough people here to defend it. <laughs> and it's kind of sad. Uh, ransom of Zay, blah, blah, blah. So I think about your fucking books. Yeah. Okay. That gold just laying around for no good reason. Oh. All right, Snowback. Who are you and what are you I doing in my tower? I think we were correct. This is the woman. Oh, no. Fiola. How do you know that name? <laughs> Her husband sent me. Christer? He's here? <laughs> The fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Uh, or I hi. was once. Don't you see? I left that old scab. Came home to Skyrim and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them well, into shape. They're all dead, now every Fiola. Now blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a peace. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. What am I supposed to tell him? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. Oh, that's sad, though. Eh, I'll help you out. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. So, I mean, it's it's, it's kind of a sticky situation because she left her husband. She's I like didn't expect to blind. see you again. What Hi. became of my doting husband? It's kind of funny. You can come back here to talk to her. I'm gonna take your shit. You know, as payment for uh, yeah, all this stuff that you're putting me through. Ooh, the last gourd. How you like this? You don't like it, do you? Okay. Um, yeah, so she left her life as a, as a housewife to basically live, to, to steal and thrive and do whatever. And it's kind of sad because you come in here and you destroy her new life. She doesn't even realize it yet. Like, she thinks, oh, who the hell are you? And then she comes down there and she's like, oh my god, <laughs> everyone's dead. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, can you blame her? She didn't want to be tied down. I always let her live because it's it's like an innocent kind of... I mean, you could be like an evilest son of a bitch, but then when you learn that you were actually being played for kind of a fool. Not a complete fool, but kind of a fool. Eh. I just want to get down there quickly. Um, being sort of a fool because you're going in there thinking, well, they, they stole this woman and you kill everyone and you look completely stupid. You go up on the top of the tower and only to find out, yeah, they're all... Um, being led by her. She, she, she is the one. She is the evil. Oh no. Well, she's not really evil. Evil is a matter of perspective. So, what do we tell him? Why isn't Fiola with you? She's dead. That. I gave it to her on our wedding day. I'm sorry, Help buddy. Help me, Divines. It's true, isn't it? I'm sorry. Keep the ring. I cannot bear the weight of them in my heart. And I must make the journey alone now. Thank you for... Thank you. I mean, 
I could solve the journey for you. I mean, all it would take is one arrow. Come on. Just, just give in. Was I really going to shoot him? I mean, I wasn't aiming at his head, but I kind of wanted to, to be funny. You know? Get over here. Get over here. Come on. You didn't, you didn't do your job. Fiel is angry at you. Get over. Ah. <laughs> uh, the simple joys in Skyrim. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Like and comment. Now, if you want to see more, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I hope your October is as fun as mine is. Thank you all so much for watching. That's a bunny. There's a bunny over there. We see the bunny. We're going to continue onward. Thank you for watching. You must be joking. Face death. Ha!